I want to do an example with you okay. and uh, so that we get used to doing and solving the problems. Okay. As you can read this is a somewhat simulated problem, okay. it is not actual problem, but let me also tell that it is not very far from the reality, okay. but we have to say it, it is a simulated example. I will show you a picture of the area Agra Mathura region in figure 1. Assume that the wind direction from the Mathura refinery, because we have talked so much in the country that emissions coming from Mathura refinery and affecting the Taj Mahal, right. Okay. So, we will try to do some example on that. Assuming that the wind direction from Mathura refinery is directly towards Taj Mahal, that is generally true, okay. That is generally true. The most of the time, wind blows from Mathura refinery towards Agra. Okay. Upwind of the Taj Mahal, there are industrial areas and a national highway, which passes very close to the uh, Taj Mahal. Emissions and meteorological details of these sources are shown in figure 1, under the atmospheric condition E. Okay. What is E? What condition is E? Stable. Okay, and F was highly stable. Okay. Under this atmospheric condition E, estimate the following in the vicinity of Taj Mahal at the ground level, SO2 concentration contributed by Mathura refinery, SO2 concentration contributed by each of the two industrial areas and SO2 concentration contributed by the national highway. Okay. And you see these are very thing which are you are very familiar with. Okay. So, let us talk, let us see if I can show you the figure 1. Okay. This is all the information which you all understand very well. Okay. So, if I the way the, I have the things here, let us do go to picture 2. Okay. See for the highways, how we do the, this formula is given to you. All right. The area source, what is to be done that is also specified that we have covered in the class. The area source can be an effective point source. Modeling will proceed as it would for a point source located at the center of the area, but with the initial crosswind, crosswind spread that is sigma y. In terms of the dispersion parameter sigma y as 0.25. Okay, you remember we said that was sigma y was the distance of the area source divided by 4.2, for that you can take as 0.25, okay. where the y is the approximate crosswind extent of the source. Based on this distance of the virtual point source from the actual source x naught may be calculated, that we discussed. right? Okay. Now, the what is the problem, what we want to say? Under the given conditions, of emissions and meteorology, will the ambient air quality standard of 30 micron per meter cube be met at Taj Mahal. Okay. Use the attached tables that I will show you in a moment. And finally, what we want to do? We want to do some solution. Okay. We just do not want to stop saying well, there is a problem or there is not a problem. Then finally, if not, if you are not meeting the standard, devise a realistic scenario in terms of pollution control strategy which would result in adherence to the air quality standard, which will attain the air quality standard. So, that idea is to what to make what safe, to make Taj Mahal safe, right. Okay. Calculate the ambient SO2 concentration near Taj Mahal under the proposed scenario. Okay. You have want to change the things and after having changed the things, what would be the picture look like. Okay. picture is not to the scale of course, you can see. The picture you see here is suppose this is the Taj Mahal you have okay. and this is somewhere here is Mathura refinery. Okay. The aerial distance between Mathura refinery and almost up to Agra Taj Mahal is how much? 37 kilometers and the details of the Mathura refinery emissions are the following. Okay. SO2 emissions 900 kg per hour. H is 100 meters, T stack is 220, T ambient is 20, 
I have already given you the speed at the height 100 meters. Okay. If it was not given to you 100 meters, you will use u 1 by u 2 equals to z 1 by z 2 to the power n and where n is function of stability. Okay. That is already given the diameter is given to as 2.5, the exit velocity is given as 12 and the atmospheric pressure is 1000 mb and we have to we then we have to find out the impact of refinery on to Taj Mahal. Okay. That is the idea number 1. Second thing you have the two sources, okay. the center of the source is almost you see this, this, this is the what are we saying as the source area source 1, S of the emission is how much 100 kg per hour okay. all right and h okay, that is effective strike height is 30 meters, the wind speed is 4 meters per second okay. and then here this, 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 this length was there is a churn anywhere, but anyway this is 500 meters as you see, there is another source which is also 500 meters in this size okay. and this is located at some 4 kilometers and this is located at 3 kilometers. And what you see here is a national highway which is going like this okay. and details of the national highways the emission rate is 2.21 10 to the power minus 2 grams per second per meter as you remember the units that will be the h equals to 0 we are assuming that the plume rise from the vehicles is 0 okay. and phi is 90 degree as you see the wind is like this this angle is 90 degree and this distance from the uh, from the highway to Taj Mahal is 1 kilometers. Okay. This is the situation we have. So, in air pollution what we do from the various sources okay, you find out the concentration and simple summation of the concentration is the net impact unlike water conditions. Okay. Water what you consider the concentration but you also consider the volume of the water that is being mixed. Here what we are saying everything is being mixed, but then everything is a meter cube concentration per meter cube and meter cube is the same. Okay. So, this is what you have to do. So, if you we can start from anything, but let us start from refinery. So, what, what is the condition we have stability is given to us as stability E. Okay. Okay, let me ask you if suppose the day is very really very heavily overcast, okay, what stability you think it will be? Lots of clouds and of course, the wind speed is moderate kind of thing 3, 4. When you have lots of cloud the normal stability you take is about D. Okay, the neutral conditions. Okay. The stability is E, all right. then what do I do? First of all, I suppose I will start with the Mathura refinery, okay. then I find out the delta H. Okay. What was that? V S D by U at what number? 100 meters, okay. U at 100. What was that? 1.5. P times T s minus T a by T a into D. Do not forget that there is a diameter term also here. Okay. If you have the calculator because I could not do the calculations, if you have the calculator if you want to do very quickly or if you do not have you can take my calculator. So, let us put the numbers here quickly. What is the V s? 12, the diameter of the stack keep telling me. 2.5, the wind speed at 100 meters 6, 1.5, 2.68, 10 to the power minus 3 times what is the pressure 1000 mb and then the other thing is T s, T stack is 220, 220 plus 273. Okay. So, that makes 493 minus 225 plus 278, 
stack, this should be T stack. Four ninety three times the diameter that is two point five. Something like that. Twenty point? Twenty point seven five. Okay. All right. <coughs> no question of aerodynamic downwash in this case. You remember the aerodynamic downwash we talked about? The when the speed is high here, twelve, and the horizontal wind is six. Do you expect any aerodynamic downwash? We don't expect because the ratio of V s to u is much more than 1.5. Otherwise, if that was the case, we will we will correct the height for aerodynamic downwash. Okay. So, <coughs> the next thing you can write this was our delta h. Okay. We generally correct this delta h for stability. right? We take this as 0.9 in case of the conditions are stable. right? For neutral, we take it as it is. Okay. So, then in that case, let us say if I have multiplied with 0.9, the correction for stability and let us say approximately this is 20 okay, meters. Okay. All right. I'll write the formula directly. Okay. What was that? Q upon two was two there. If I'm now, I have to put what I have to find out. I have to find out y equals to 0 in this case, my x direction is always the wind direction. So, this is my x direction. Okay. So, what is y at this point? 0. What about z? 0. Okay. So, if you recall my from the my general formula 2 will disappear. Okay. Many times the student makes a mistake and carry this 2 forward. Okay because putting that equal to 0 and then there will be the 2 will come because e to the power 0 plus e to the power 0 will be equal to 2. Okay. So, now you say pi sigma y sigma z. Okay. Now, what you should I take at height of h plus delta h. So, height of 120 meters. right? What is my h finally? Effective strike height is 100 is the where is it 100 plus 20. So, this u will be at 20, it will be at 120. So, just to save some time, we will take this equals to uh, the number what we have 6, okay. because you see it as we go higher, it stabilizes. right? So, I will take this as just to save time. I will take this as the u I will take as 6 only, but ideally you should correct it. The n value which we gave in the table last time to you and you do not have to remember the n values. Okay. You can refer it to the book or there is a question in the exam it will be it should be given to you because numbers no one can remember, okay. but you can modify the u if you like. So, let us continue to have the figure here exponential minus h square So, q I should be careful with the units. So, 900 okay, I want to find out in micrograms per meter cube. So, 900 times 1000 is my grams right micrograms 10 to the power 6 
phi sigma y and sigma z we will write in a moment 6 exponential okay and this we have to find out per second okay that is per hour so and my h equals to minus 120 square by 2 sigma z square okay so let's look for sigma y and sigma z okay is there anything else i need i don't need anything else okay that is what is my sigma y okay may not be very bright for you but i'll try to read for you from here here is okay the distance in oh just a second distance in meters okay okay so this is how much is this 10 to the power 3 okay this is 10 to the power 4 right so what is the distance is this one what is this distance here 10 kilometers right okay and this is 100 right 30 37 go here e here okay okay and this value this is how much about 1000 is it we will take that as 1000 okay that is about uh, you can say about 1000 yeah Oh, I will take to 1200 or so, okay, 1200, okay. So, sigma y is 1200, okay. Sigma z, same thing, how much is that, 37, stability E. Hundred and twenty, hundred forty. Can you please give me C because of the motor refinery caused onto the So, we immediately compare this with 30, then you obviously say well even the mathura refinery is contributing much more than what is acceptable level at Taj Mahal. Okay. What was acceptable level you recall? 30 micrograms. Okay. So, this we will keep at somewhere as our point number 1. Okay. So, let us remove this area source. Okay, let us take the area source number 1. Okay, what is the quantity of the emission? 100 kg per hour. Okay. At this side, the, the, the it is given is 500 meters. So, sigma y naught 500 by Okay, how much that comes out to be? 1, 125. Find out x naught. Correct. Go back to the. What is that we want? This was 125. This is 10. This is 100. Right. Correct. This is your 200. 125 is here. Right. Go back here and somewhere here. Right and then come here. What is this coming out to be approximately? 
250. Okay, I'll just check with this figure, which is like accurate to me. What is that? Sigma y is your 125. Okay, you move here 125 and 120. well, it is well. I'm nearly getting 300 or so. Okay, right? Okay, you get 300. I think it it's, should it be three kilometer or three meter three this thing. Portion of the picture, huh? It has to be three kilometers. So this is actually ten to power three. Okay. It can't be such small. It's just experience which tells you. Okay. So now what what is your and this is your Taj Mahal somewhere here. So, this distance is 300 meters and what is this distance from center to this? 4 kilometers, okay. 4000 meters. So, your x equals to really 4 plus 3, 7000 meters. So, the sigma y, the sigma y spread by the time it goes to Taj Mahal will be equal to I have to find out the 7 kilometers. Okay. Take this, right? All agreed? This is your 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sigma z. Start from five, five, six, seven. F. Go back. How much? No, 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 no. Sixty. Sixty or so. 1, 10, 100. So, I am here somewhere here. So, 650 or something, right? Okay. And now, can you quickly calculate the concentration? Oh, 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 okay, all right, all right. I agree with you. 1,500. What was the H? 30 meters and u 30 is given to you as 4 meters per second. So, you apply the same formula identical to what we did for the Mathura refinery. Okay. How much that comes out to be? That was area source 1. So, I remove this. I will take the number you gave me. Okay. Now, we have to do the same thing for source number area source 2. Okay. So, if you want to either quickly do that one or we assume Okay, just to help to save the time, okay. You know how to do it for the area source 2, right? Okay. I can assume this to be nearly the 50 percent of source 1 because concentration is always proportional to Q. Okay. H is more or less the same, and what is the difference you will see is the difference of 1 kilometer distance, right? Okay. That will have the some impact, but then if you if we kind of agree for the saving the time, we can say it is 50 percent of area source 1, okay, because q is 50 percent. So, this is for this area source 1, c for area source 2 that came out that we assume that to be
all right okay now comes to the national highway business but let's keep writing somewhere here so we don't forget refinery that is about 57 and then area source 1 that was about 100 whatever 101 or something 102 this is about 50 not talk talk about the highway business the source is your national highway C was what is that 2 q 2 pi something like this and of course, sin phi is 1. This will be my 2 times what is the q 2.21 10 to power 10 to power minus 2. take the same as 4 meters per second and sigma z we must find out how far it is from the 1 kilometer. Okay. So, distance is take this okay. twenty two or so. this is in the grams I want in micrograms 10 to the power let us see what number you get 200 See, I'm assume, I'm going by what what numbers you are giving me really line source. Most of you have got this one zero two, right? You have accounted for the microgram per second emission rate. Okay, okay. Then we'll assume that all thing is fine. Okay. So, what do you want to say? Well, there is a serious problem. I mean, it is a hypothetical case, more for learning. Okay, the situation may be very different on the ground, but then <coughs> you say what? What you need to say? Well, every source needs to be controlled. Okay. So now, what you do? The net concentration is. Okay. So what it tells you is well, of course, the methanol refinery is causing problem. Okay, but then again, the larger problem comes from the national highway. Okay, which may be true also in some cases. Okay, so what are your options you have? What is that you can do? Close the refinery. Okay, but well, that is of no use at all. So, 
see we, 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 we this is a situation we have we are just talking about this situation okay whatever the calculations we have done we are talking about this situation only see that again will not help much okay because this thing you can't bring it down to 300 with the artificial means so immediately you should think as a planner as an engineer is to realign the national highway make an outer ring road or something like this okay many of you are civil engineers so you have to think because you see here no matter how good you bring the cars and how good you bring the trucks okay the emission is not going to be zero okay so one of the solutions that would you would Im immediately think is to get rid of the source okay ask this whatever okay these are the just the options that you think of okay and final decisions are taken with other uh, considerations and what you can do and what you cannot do but then of course suppose this highway going like this suppose it goes something like this in the already in the downwind of this one okay then automatically the con the contribution is zero from there right i'm not saying this is the final answer but we still have to make some sense from our example which is of course we just make it for our learning okay the realistic thing will be different realistic models will be different then we can use more complicated models yeah okay either you have the you have the experimental results here okay but then you cannot say with the measurement alone that it is contributed by this or this or that that you cannot say is only model to some extent it can give you so who is contributing to what extent okay so uh, the one of the other ways to do is to use a tracer gas okay along with the emissions here you release a tracer gas okay from refinery okay and then you say here and you release another tracer gas okay or the tracer gas at some other time from from these things okay and the major the tracer gas because tracer gas will not be contributed by anybody else so then you can really establish okay as to how much is the contribution really in the measurement terms okay then you can take the ratio of the emission of this thing to the ratio of the tracer gas and that same ratio will be maintained more or less as it travels through okay then you can find out how much is the contribution in a realistic term from the material refinery. Okay. So one thing which immediately one would think provided these numbers are, are correct, these numbers you have given to us. So I would think well the alignment of the highway should be done. Okay. If you can do something about this thing that emission is brought down, convert the, the, the processes here we are using the coal and oil with more like CNG. Okay. Sulphur content in CNG is is zero okay the moment you say all right you are mostly the because sulfur dioxide will come from the combustion processes you say you use cng okay if you make them cng or 50% change them to cng this is gone and you ask mother refinery to control the emissions to let's say one third or something okay because and in fact this is the emission i'm talking about in 1980 or so they had this kind of emission in 1984 they had this thing and you know what is the emission right now from a refinery is about 150 kg per hour tremendously controlled whereas the quantity of the production has increased nearly about one and a half times to two times okay so they have really controlled they have controlled to the extent that it is nearly about 150 or so so automatically again if you think that this is that our calculation are correct so you can almost say well it's reduced by one fourth Whereas this source will continue to increase, the number of vehicles will increase. Though you can't stop that. Okay, this thing, people are trying to do something that okay, supply the CNG. Okay, make sure at least there are no more in, increase in the industrial units coming up. So as a field engineer, as a practical engineer, you have to take decisions, and decisions are based on your modeling work and the experience which you have. And then once you do this thing, then you can find out the. The other way which is even more scientific is to develop a cost function. Okay. The cost function will be something like cost function for source 1 okay. Okay. 
and times uh, and then that will be cost function depending on the value of q how much you want to reduce okay it will not be a linear function see if you want to reduce some emission some emission can be very quickly you can reduce and certain emission you just cannot reduce the mantra refinery cannot have the zero emissions okay so <coughs> plus function cost function for area source 1 plus cost function for area source 2 plus cost function for national highway that may even include realigning the highway okay okay and then you can want to minimize this function minimize subject to subject to what Sub, subject to what minimize subject to what concentration at Taj Mahal is less than correct that is what is our objective that is what we want to do okay. this also give this cost me is after all national money right and you want to plan something for your area then you develop the cost function that we are not getting into this thing that the cost function you minimize this cost function okay subject to that concentration at Taj Mahal is less than 30 microns per meter. Okay. This is how we do the things.